One of my oldest and dearest friends expressed to me his desire to learn more about his heritage. Uh, so today I'm hoping to get him some answers. Well, please welcome my buddy, William. When I first met him, he was a, uh, you worked at Neiman Marcus. Yes. And uh, I used to go in there and I never wanted his help because my wife shopped at Neiman Marcus. I said, I pick out my own stuff. And so he would find out I was coming and he would lay stuff out before I got there. And the way he laid the stuff out was better than the way I was picking stuff. And I asked him, I said, hey man, you ever thought about doing that for a living personally? He said, you know, I got family, man. He said, how much it pays? So I told him, he went home and told his wife how much it pays. She said, send the money to the house. <laughs> so, <laughs> Have you always had this curiosity about your family? Always. My last name being Phoenix, I just said, like, where did it come from? Um, my mother never knew who her grandfather was. This kind of been weighing on you for years. I've heard you talk about it before. W what would it mean to you to find out more? Just knowing where I came from, my name, I mean, I always thought I had a great last name. Phoenix. Yeah, I like that name. Yeah, I, I, I call like it Feet. Well, what, what you think it is? What you think Phoenix is? Like, like what? Well, I mean, myth, mythological, they say that it's a, it's a bird that rises from the ashes and it never dies. Every 100 years it catches a flame. And so it was kind of a myth, but I thought it was a cool last name. I want to know where, where did it come from? Well, I tell you what we did, Fee. Uh, joining us is our DNA guru, geneticist, Nathan Pearson. We, we all teamed up uh, with MyHeritage to help Will learn about his roots, so tell us how that works. It's As Will knows, it starts with just a swab. You swab your cheek and you send that in. And from there, your DNA really unfolds like a storybook. And it unfolds both around the planet and back into time. And so for you, for example, we, we found like 2,000 people around the world wow. who are, are your kin, and you don't know each other yet. Really? Yet. So, Nathan, you had the results from Will's uh, MyHeritage DNA test. What did you find out? So let's first, let's first talk about the mix of roots. So we look just sort of what, and if, you, if you were a pie, what, where would different parts of the pie come from on the planet? And for you, the biggest part of the pie goes right to West Africa, right? And this, this makes sense probably yeah. from what you oh, know. What? Yeah. That's what I'm talking so, about. Yeah. Here's, here's your map. And if we look at the map, a lot of your roots trace back to West Africa, which, is, which makes good sense, given what you know about your family history, that in Savannah, for example, this was where lots of folks ended up who were enslaved. So let's move on from that part of the pie to the next biggest piece, which is actually northern and western Europe. And so you look there, you see about almost 30% of your ancestry traces right back to Europe. Wow. And in part, it goes to, especially to Ireland and to the British Isles generally. So that's a big chunk of, of, of the European part of your ancestry. Okay. Um, and that's common in African-American DNA to see that mix today. Now, uh, Will's wife is here, Nicole. N Nicole, are you, uh, are, are you shocked to hear any of these results? Yeah, I didn't know I was married to a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the name Phoenix, what... what the first thing we did to try to answer that question was try to build back from your family tree. You knew your grandparents. You, you knew, yes. uh, so, so Edward and David. So if we go to the 1910 census, we can see the record there for, for that Phoenix family. So it's Martha and Nero and their five kids at the time, including your grandfather, Edward is there, and they're living in Georgia at the time. Now, if we look over at the right side, we'll see listed Nero was working at a place called the guano mill. Guano is bird poop. So here we see an ad from 1870 in the Savannah paper for the local guano mill. And look at the top of that ad. Phoenix. Phoenix guano. When people were emancipated, people were freed, people took names. It was a chance to claim a family name. And he may have already seen that symbol of a phoenix rising from ashes. That idea of redemption, of a chance at a, a, a start as a family, as an individual, in that name. Wow. That name, Phoenix, that he may have encountered at the workplace, may have spoken to him. Wow. 
My grandparents lived off Bay Street. Really? Off Bay Street, says Savannah Jersey. That's where they lived. That's where they grew up. I didn't know that. Well, how, how you feel hearing all this, this man? Is, this is outstanding. This is very enlightening. I'm very surprised that you was able to find this amount of um, my heritage and just to see this right here. I'm just shocked. I'm just amazed. At that. Hey, man, man, all this, you just take a swab. Yep. And you come up with all this here? A swab plus a lot of, a lot of documents in the, in the archive, right? I mean, a lot of this is paperwork, too. It's DNA and paper together, and then people gathering their minds and saying, what do you know about that side of the tree? What do you know about that side of the tree? That's how it works. That's how it pulls together. It's been a great, great experience we've had. I'm just happy for him Man. that he sees this type of... So look, for all of you at home, uh, this could be pretty interesting for a lot of people. If you go to MyHeritageDNA.com right now and you use the code STEVE at the checkout, you'll get free shipping on your MyHeritageDNA test. And uh, I think for a lot of people it might be worth looking into. We'll be right back, everybody.